All right, let's go. Ha! It's so awesome. It's so good. It's so good. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a little how-to video for the motion controls for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 on the Nintendo Switch. We're actually playing the Nintendo Switch copy, you know, Nintendo Switch. So, um, this video is just basically like a how to set it up, how to use it, and then just an honest review, because uh, I just want you guys to know exactly my honest thoughts about it, because I'm a huge Dragon Ball nerd, and I, when it comes to stuff like this, it's very simple, but I definitely want you guys to know, you know, some solid feedback instead of just like, look, it's motion controls, it must be great. Like, we go talk about it. So, you just go in your options settings, and then you go down to here, controller settings, you you know, you switch between button controls and uh, motion controls. It's really simple. You just turn it on motion controls, and then you just back out of the setting menu, and you're like all good. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on over into the training mode, and then just test this out, show you how to do it, and then I'll just keep doing it, and then critiquing it as I go. Sweet. All right, so obviously since we're playing on the uh, Nintendo Switch, let me uh, just, you know, make it very known that uh, obviously you're using your Joy-Con. Put the dang wrist straps on. Be safe, be smart, don't break your shit, pretty much. Just don't be that guy or gal that just breaks their, you know, Joy-Cons because they didn't put the straps on. You know what I'm saying? Just just put them on, make sure they're nice and snug, make it make sure it fits nice so you don't you just just don't just don't break your stuff, all right? So obviously um we have all these characters. Let's pick one and just have some fun. So, um duly note that if if you want to have all these characters right off the bat since uh they released this game on the Nintendo Switch, they're doing like a limited time offer of like free DLC for like all these characters. So, you know, definitely Take advantage of that. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you have this version of this game, just get it. Just download it really quick uh, before it's gone, all right? So, obviously, I need to test this out. Let's pick both Gohans. You don't get all the maps right away with the DLC. You just get the characters, um, and that's really it. So, it's like the main story characters right off the bat, all right? So, motion controls. Let's have some fun with it. So... I'm gonna start off with just the, <clears throat> the just the motion controls, and then I'll just do like your casual playing of this game. So since we're in training, I'm gonna turn off like the HUD and like all this stuff. I'm gonna turn unlimited key on because obviously this is a demonstration, not really taking it seriously. So let's kind of go with that. So um, obviously to do it, well here it is. So you press both, but you get the Z, L, and Z, R. You press them at the same time, which brings up your like ultimate move options. We have uh, four options. Three of them use uh, motion control. So obviously full power energy wave. So you just kind of bring it back and you do it forward. And you don't use it with uh, your left hand because obviously there's no buttons on it. So it's it's on the Joy-Con that actually has the X, Y, A, B. You know, so basically your right Joy-Con is going to be the one that's mainly, you know, the, the initiator of all these moves in a sense. Obviously your left Joy-Con still has a, you know, a function, uh, but it's mainly this one that gets the you know used the most when it comes to like hand gestures. There are obviously there's the Super Saiyan one which uses both, uh, but typically it's just you know your your right Joy-Con. So full power energy wave. You press both buttons. We press X. We bring it back. We flick it forward. Bah! That's it. It's it's that simple. It is that simple. All right. So let's do the next one. We got one-handed Kamehameha. So we got press both buttons. Press Y, bring it back, and then, yeah. Just just wait. I'll, we'll talk about it. I, I know exactly what you're thinking. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. All right, so obviously now we get both special moves. Energy Dome, both buttons, you press B. There There is no, like, ha, ah, or, like, you know, like, putting, the, like, like, just even this would have been cool. You, all you do is just, you just do this. Like, just have it out. That would have been awesome but there is no motion control for energy dome it's just you just press both buttons and tap b that's it so the best part is if you have a character with transformations you can you know use motion controls with that so obviously we're playing as future gohan and we have future super saiyan so let's do it up so press both buttons press the a button cross that's not supposed to work so let's try it again nope We'll talk about it. Just 
Just let me show you, and then we'll critique the shit out of it. All right, damn, A, cross, boom. Every time, just every time. All right, so let's do it again. Da -da, bam, bam, bam. Nope, okay, that was my fault. Okay. That's it. It's literally that simple. Eh, eh. Do the thing, do the thing. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little fun with that. So let's, let's descend from Super Saiyan. So obviously, you know, character transformations, you can go from, you know, base state to, you know, whatever transformation they have. Obviously, Gohan, in this case, is Super Saiyan. So just, just do the thing! <sighs> okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So <sighs> this is the fun part. This is the fun part for me. So I just... I'm gonna just gonna keep talking and then we're just gonna go from there. So The fact that this works well is good like it. I don't feel like there's a problem with it <laughs> I hope you're catching my drift so basically the, the motion controls is really fun It really is to be able to just to go Super Saiyan and like you know like to to you know, go from Super Saiyan to back to normal form, and then be like, ah, I want to go Super Saiyan! Like, you can do that. It's it's fun. The problem is, like, the ultimate moves are just, you just have to really flick your Joy-Con, and, like, it works, right? So, if you want to be cheap, you can be cheap, in a sense. Like, you don't really have to, you know, follow the guidelines of, you know, see, okay, that wasn't an ultimate move, but you don't have to, like, bring it back, and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you, did you see what I did? I literally just took it back, and that was it. I didn't move my left hand, so let, let me do that again. So press both buttons. You know what I'm saying? It's it's really cheap. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's it, it just kind of works, and kind you know what I mean. So at the end of the day, if you've played Dragon Ball Z Universe two before and you really liked it. Awesome. If you've never played this game and you want something different or a little bit more, you know, um, just makes you feel more a part of the game, this is great. You know, I can just, I can just stop being Super Saiyan. I can just use Super Saiyan. Wait, can I do it backwards? Oh, let's do it backwards. Let's see if it would work. Oh, it worked. That's dope. So, like, like I said, it's like a fun gimmick. You know what I'm saying? It's not perfect. It's not the best thing ever. But this is my critique. So simple like you know explosive wave like i should be able just to just to like i have to like i have to do it forward or i have to bring it back like that should be a thing you know what i'm saying like just like your simple like kai blast like that should be that it should have to be motion controls i can understand you know doing like um like sonic rush you know just just doing this is a little stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, da, 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 you know, it makes, it's a little, because we can't, you can't, like, have kick in and, you know, all that stuff, because then that's, you need VR technology when we're, all we're doing is, you know, using Joy-Con. So, I understand the whole fact of, like, rush moves and, like, physical punching, kicking moves. Like, they don't need to have the motion controls, but, I mean, come on, super explosive wave? Like, I should have to do this. Like, I sh that's how it should how it work, not just... Well, let me just press the button and it just you know what I mean like it, it feels like like only the ultimate moves are worthy to go super saiyan and just blah 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 blah, blah. you know what I mean it, it kind of kills it a little bit at least for me I mean I'm not saying this is horrible and I'm not shitting on Bandai for what they did I just want more you know like I really like it but I want more so if they're ever gonna do this again you know, find ways to make it more, um, just, ah, uh, just really pack the punch. Like, make it really special. Not just like, oh, the ultimate moves are the ones that work. You know what I mean? It's like, when I go Super Saiyan, like, ah, like, I want to feel good about it, which I do. But I want to do, I want to spam Kai Blast, and then I have to want to flick it forward. Like, just, it's that little punch. Like, ah, that's all I want. But again... I'm just happy this is a thing, and it just works. Like, it could just be really bad and not work. You know what I mean? There's a flip side to this. You know, it could just be really bad. Um, but my honest give, my honest takeaway from this is, you know, the motion controls, they're fun. It makes me feel like I'm a part of the Dragon Ball Z wor uh, world. 
And it just, it's it's fun to play this game again on the Nintendo Switch. You, get, you know, it expands your Nintendo Switch library. Um, even if you've played Xenoverse 2 before, it's a, it's a fun way to play this game in a different way. Um, but if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But I'm glad I can show you guys this video. Uh, thanks again to Bandai Namco uh, for, you know, giving me a free copy of the game so I can test this out. So I could just, you know, be very bluntly honest and... Uh, I hope they listen, because I would really like to see them do this again. Um, obviously, not for Xenoverse 2, but, you know, for future titles. Or maybe just like a, you know, whatever they want to do with motion controls when it comes to like a Dragon Ball Z type game. You know, a Dragon Ball Super type game. Like, just just, just give me the the ability, even if, even if like, I have to spam A, but, like, make the finishing just... Uh, let me just throw it at them. Give me that option. Like, just... Ah! Uh! Just give me that option, Bandai. Let me just hold that A button. I have to flick it forward. Not just, yeah. Like, that's, it. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I just want a little bit more. But that's all I got to say about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if you have any problems with your motion controls, obviously make sure, you know, your Joy-Cons are charged and stuff like that. But I haven't had any problems. I mean, my Switch is right next to me on the floor. I mean, I mean, it's propped up, but, like, I have, I've had no connection issues or nothing like that. So, when it comes to the connectivity and stuff like that, like, nothing's really not working. It's just, I just want there to be our features a part of this whole, you know, use motion controls. I don't want to do this. I just want to have, like, you know, that, the little, little extra, just, ugh, just little extra. Just the, just the little things. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, there's not really much else to talk about. I just really enjoyed the motion controls and i just want more so i mean like i'm a consumer at the end of the day like i want you guys to buy like the games that i enjoy as well you know what i mean um but i hope this helped uh, if you enjoy the motion controls let me know what, what you guys think in the comment section down below um but i'm gonna get the heck out of here be on the lookout for it like a mini review of dragon ball Universe 2 uh, on my channel, because uh, Bandai Namco uh, asked me to make a video like that as well. So again, that's another hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored type deal thing, um, because they did send me a free copy of the game, and I'm more than happy to, you know, just be very honest about stuff like this, because I want you guys to, you know, if you're thinking about buying a game, or you want to play this game, I want to show every little thing that I think matters, and make a nice little video for you guys to watch. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. And uh, just just one more time. Just one more time. Let's let's just let's just let's just uh, come on. Okay. Stop. Just. <sighs> Freaking controls, man. I swear. All right, let's go. Ha! So awesome. It's so good. It's so good. All right, guys, I will see you later. Thank you again for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in a video or in a live stream sometime soon on twitch.tv slash smkgaming05. But until then, I'll see you later.